Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create auto gain on any plugin in Reaper. Now, the concept of using auto gain on plugins is it'll keep our level consistent as we boost or cut things in the plugin. And many of my favorite plugins don't have this feature. But luckily, we can create it ourselves. So I have a project in front of me here with some drums, bass, and guitars. And I created a folder track with all these tracks in it that I want to process them as a group. So I want to start off with a compressor. I'll go to the folder track and go to the effects. I'll type into the filter, compressor, and I'm going to choose one of my favorites. This one right here, the 1175 compressor. And if we double click it, it opens up and looks like this. And as we can tell, there's no auto makeup gain feature. So as we lower our threshold and compress it more, the signal will be quieter, making it more difficult to tell if we prefer the sound. Let's hear it now. So as we compress it, it gets quieter as we can tell by bypassing the plugin. Now in the days of analog, we'd have two hands to adjust things. We could adjust our threshold with one hand and the gain knob or makeup gain with the other. So we wouldn't hear the level difference. But with a computer and a plugin, we don't have two hands, but we can mimic or create that same effect using parameter modulation. So let's put this back to the default. Then we're going to click on the gain knob as the last touched parameter. Go to the menu and choose parameter modulation. And that opens up this dialog. We can link our parameters to each other. Let's choose link from MIDI or effects parameter, and choose the parameter from the compressor threshold. And now, these two parameters are linked. So if I move one, they move together. But as you can tell, it starts out at 20 dB up. And we don't want that. So we should readjust the offset. And now they move together, but they're moving in the wrong direction. We want to bring this down as this goes up. So let's change the scale to be negative. And now bringing this one down brings this one up. So now it's here how that works. As you can tell, it's off a bit as it gets too loud as you bring this down, even though it's better. So let's readjust our offset so it doesn't get quite as loud. And we have to do this separately for each plugin based on the signal we're working with. That feels a lot better to me. So it's like having two hands to adjust our parameters. One hand for the threshold and another for the gain. Keeping our level consistent as we compress our signal. making it easier to make decisions about how much compression we want. Now, if we save this as a preset, it's not going to save this stuff. So if you don't want to have to set this up each time, we could save this as an effects chain. Just select it and right-click it, go to effects chains, 
and save selected effects as chain. Let's give it a name, 1175 Compressor, Auto Gain. And now, if you want to use this effect in the future, just double click, go to Effects Chains, and choose it right here. And now, it opens up already linked with those parameters. As we can see right here, saving the parameters and the offsets we set up. Very useful. Let's check out another plugin. Another one of my favorites is the General Dynamics plugin. Right over here, double click it, and it looks like this. Let's create two to one compression right here. But again, the more compression we add, the lower the signal becomes, making it harder to decide how much compression we want, comparing it to the original. Again, we could use makeup gain over here, but that requires two hands unless we use our trick. Let's select this parameter, go to the menu, and choose Parameter Modulation MIDI Link, which opens up this dialog. We'll link it and we'll choose this plugin and the detector gain. So now, if we adjust to this, it adjusts the wet mix as well. And for this, we do want it to go in the same direction. Let's check it out. So as we're adding more compression, the makeup gain is going up as well, keeping our level consistent, even though we're compressing it more. making it easier to make more informed decisions. And again, if you want to save this to use again, just save it as an effects chain. And we can do the same thing with EQ. Let's clear this. Let's open up the EQ. And let's delete all the bands, except for the top one, which is a high shelf EQ. But again, if we bring it up, we'll boost it. Our track gets louder. And if we had two hands, we could adjust this while adjusting the gain at the same time. But in a computer with a plugin, we don't. So let's click on the gain knob, go to the menu, and choose parameter modulation. That opens up this dialog, choose link from MIDI or FX parameter, and choose the gain high shelf. So now, if we adjust the gain over here, it also adjusts the makeup gain over here. We're boosting it from here. They move together. But again, they're moving in the wrong direction. So we'll change the scale to be negative and adjust the offset to start around zero, which would be around minus 50. So now if we adjust the gain from here or from here, boosting it is going to cut the output gain, which should keep our level more consistent. Let's check it out. So as we're boosting the top end, the track's not getting any louder. So we're not being fooled into thinking it sounds better just because it's louder. It's really just brighter. A 
again, making it a lot easier to make informed decisions. And again, if we want to save it, just save it as an effects chain. Although I tend to tweak it down here, depending on which band I'm using. So that's pretty much it. That's how to create auto gain on any plugin in Reaper. I hope you learned something. Hope you could use it. And I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bingo, boys, let's go. Mm -hmm.